Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do an unboxing as per usual. So I got this recently. I just ordered it online. So Louis Vuitton has been restocking their site, which has not been seen in like months, months, months. Like every time that I go on there, everything is like always sold out. So for the past few days, they have been restocking this item. I feel like they have been restocking other items that are really popular as well. I've seen uh, the monogram key pouch on there. I've seen the uh, pochette accessoire. I've seen like the mini pochette. I mean, it's just been kind of insane. I feel like because of the holidays, they've been putting out a little bit more inventory on their website. So yeah, I was really excited to get this item. This is their holiday ribbon for the season. It's just red with the Louis Vuitton in gold. So right now I'm still in Chicago. I did go into two different Louis Vuittons and I asked for this product and each store had only one left. So they did bring it out for me to take a look at. Unfortunately, they were both made in the US and I kind of declined purchasing it. Um, I did feel the canvas and it just felt not right in my opinion. Um, I've, I have canvas bags so I know how they should feel like. videos on Louis Vuitton were on the Speedy 20, which is the new item that just came out um, with Louis Vuitton. Unfortunately, it was not meant for me and I actually did sell it to one of my subscribers. So I really hope you're enjoying it, Michelle. Um, yeah, when I tried it on, obviously you guys saw that I just was not completely happy with it. Um, it just was a little bit too structured for my taste. On top of that, I just did not love that strap at all. And I did mention that I love like my Speedy 25 in the Damier Eden um, print. So it did make me question getting the monogram piece and I was willing to wait for a made in France piece. Um, Cause the two that I saw that's made in the US, the canvas felt so thin. Um, I, I just, it was just not good like it didn't live up to my standards so I took a chance and I ordered online and I am so happy I did because guys this one is made in France I am so happy I waited this one literally is so perfect I was kind of hesitant in, you know, purchasing this bag just because there is a good amount of paqueta on this piece. Um, so I am still kind of worried to use it. Um, obviously, I would not take this out when it's raining or snowing, but I just felt like I really needed her in my collection. And my favorite part about the Speedy Bandolier 25 is the strap. So it has a three-piece strap. I generally don't wear it as a crossbody. I don't like the Speedy as a crossbody. I like it as more of just a shoulder bag. And because this is untreated leather, over time it will soften and become very comfortable. So I'm really excited for that. Honestly, the canvas on this feels so much better than the ones that I saw that were made in the US. Like, it just feels sturdier. Yeah, so I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Um, do I regret selling the Speedy 20? Maybe a tad bit, because I wish I had the Speedy 20 with the strap. 
so honestly in the future if i were to see the sweetie 20 again i might purchase it um and see how i feel about it with this strap and then probably sell that bigger strap that it comes with but as of right now i am happy with this my next item that i plan on getting is Louis Vuitton is coming out with the Nano Speedy with a detachable strap. Guys, what? <laughs> like, I love that Louis Vuitton does listen to their consumers because people have been begging for the longest time for the Speedy Nano to be made with a detachable strap. So, very excited about that. I am going to reach out to my sales associate. I believe it comes out January 28th is what it's rumored to come out um usually if that's the case it will hit some stores like a few days um earlier so yeah i am going to try to get my hands on that um but then it makes me feel like what am i gonna do with the speedy nano like the nano speedy that i have currently like do i sell it do i keep it i'm kind of a hoarder guys like i'm a hoarder but i'm not like i try to be a minimalist but it's hard when it comes to these handbags like it's hard to pick and choose what to keep in your collection but yeah i love this bag so far i feel i feel like she's perfect like the piping is really pretty um this is pretty straight the handles on here are pretty straight i mean really i i don't have any complaints Oh, the zipper, guys, it's a pretty straight zipper, which is so freaking nice. Um, very smooth. The inside has this brown type of lining, and there is a little pocket in here that is zippered as well. some of the cards that comes with it this bag does come with a lock as well I'm not even gonna take it out because I never use these locks because I just don't want my bag to be heavier than it needs to be so I'll just keep that in there This is probably hands down my favorite bag in my collection, period. And I'm not just talking about the monogram, like the Damier Abin print too, has been so amazing. It's so easy to take care of. Um, so I feel like this would be just kind of more of an addition where I feel like if it's nice weather, I can take it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love this bag. I've traveled with it. Um, there's nothing that bad that I can say about it at all like if it's a ton it's super comfortable and it's probably my favorite bag like the speedy 25 bandolier is probably my favorite bag in my collection period hands down like my most used bag so do I recommend it a hundred percent like again nothing that I can say bad about it um so yeah highly recommend if you are looking for a bigger bag and yeah, I think that's all I have to say about it. I will put my previous unboxing for the Damier Evin one up here. I feel like I kind of went a little bit more in detail with that. You'll also get to see some mod shots from that video because um, I just don't feel like I need to do it with the monogram one. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like for more content. Okay, bye.